Hey everyone, we're going to explain the second protean, the final one, during Living Liquid. So this one's very similar to the first proteins that we talked about earlier. The only difference is, um, in this case, there's also going to be proteins coming from the tornadoes that we need to bait as well, on top of the ones from li Living Liquid. So we're going to start off uh, very similar in this orientation, the boss will be facing north because before this is a cascade, so a new set of tornado spawn. We're we'll going to have the boss in the middle facing north. We're going to have the party, once again, just stacked uh, uh, right in front, baiting all the all the proteans, the ones that are baitable north. And then for the second set of proteans, we're going to have the range, so the two range DPS and the healers, we're going to have them take the second set. And the Melee 1, Melee 2, and the tanks are going to go next to the tornadoes to bait out the first proteins from the tornadoes. So it's going to look something like this. We're going to have, and we always have the north proteins, so we couldn't put anyone north. So there's a north protean, there's a protean from the range there. The healers are going to have proteans. And these are the ones I just hit right away. And then there's going to be baited ones, the ones that leave the AOE indicator, that the melee and the tanks are going to bait from the tornadoes. So that's how the first one's going to kind of look like. So the first one, everyone's stacked in the front, bait, all, bait those ones. And then for the next one, the range and the healers are baiting the close ones, while the melee are baiting the ones from the tornadoes. Also keep in mind there's going to be the circle AoEs that the melees and the tanks are going to bait as well. That's just also going to hit land near them so it's important that they're kind of far away. And then after that for the third one the healers in the range are going to move out and so they're going to move up here and they're going to be baiting or they're going to be getting hit by the second protean from the tornadoes. And then the tanks, so for example, we have both healers go together since it's only three tornadoes. They go up to bait this tornado. The one range goes to this one to bait this tornado. And the other range goes down here to bait this one. And then meanwhile the tanks move in and the melee move in. We get something that looks like this for the third set of proteans from Living Liquid. So the third set of proteans from Living Liquid. We'll have one facing out there, one hitting there, one going directly south, one going directly east. And this is important because we have to make sure they don't hit the ranged up here, the healers, or the range down here. And then after this third one hits, the second one from the tornadoes will hit the range as well. It happens afterwards, so there's a little time to adjust, but we have to make sure that these range and healers don't get hit by that third protean from the boss. Because when you get hit by a protein, you get a water resistance down debuff, so you can't take another protein back to back. So that's why we have the range take the first one up close, then the melee are going to be taking the next one, and the range are taking this, these tornadoes afterwards because their debuff is worn off by then. So it's very similar to the first kind of protein we need to go over, but just with the tornadoes added. So a brief overview. Everyone baits north the baitable proteins from liquid, living liquid. The range stay close to get hit by the second set while the melee and tanks move out to, for one, bait the AoEs and to bait the baitable protein from the tornado. The range move out near the tornadoes. Tanks and melee come close. And then the melee and tanks will take the final protein from Living Liquid while the range and healers shortly after we'll take the final protein for the tornadoes.